the number one question that I get asked uh, whenever I post a video or a screenshot of one of my models is how do I get a uh, free cat to look like this? And I've already made a video tutorial on how to configure uh, FreeCAD Master 0.19 using the glass add-on. But in this video we will use Real Thunder's uh, Link Stage Free branch. Uh, and he was kind enough to develop um, the overlay interface uh, right into Core FreeCAD. And it is packed full uh, with uh, really really nice features. First of all, a big disclaimer, while the Link Stage 3 branch is uh, really packed full of uh, features, it is highly experimental, so uh, use it with uh, caution. The first thing that we need to do in order to configure FreeCAD is to back up our current configuration. And at least on a Linux system there are two files, two folders that we need to back up. So go into your home folder and into the main home, uh, home folder, the FreeCAD uh, folder, we will rename it FreeCAD Backup. Again, there is another folder to be backed up and we will find it in the config, uh, home config folder, FreeCAD, and again, we will go ahead and back up this folder. So this is how uh, FreeCAD looks uh, when it is first started. We need to um, configure some parameters into tools, edit parameters. And the first step that I will do is necessary only on macOS, um, for the macOS users or for the global menu users on uh, Linux because there is a bug that uh, duplicates the menu voices whenever someone changes workbenches. So we need to create a, a boolean parameter under base, off, uh, base up preferences, main window. We will create a new boolean item. We will call it clear menu bar and it should be set to true. I repeat, this uh, step is necessary only for some Linux users or macOS uh, users. The next step is to re-enable the independent tree view. So we will go under uh, Preferences, Dock Windows. In the tree view voice, the Boolean uh, item should be set to At this point, save your changes to disk and close the window. For the changes to take effect, uh, we need to restart FreeCAD. Once uh, FreeCAD has restarted, we need to go into Edit, Preferences. We will change the style sheet to dark blue the overlay style sheet to dark outline. In the document, I choose to save the thumbnail into the project file. Under display, use OpenGlide vertex buffer object. NTLIsync, I'll choose uh, for, for X. Now, under user interface, usually my settings are uncheck the check navigation cube the hint trigger size 30, hint width I choose 30, the hint delay I'll make it really low, the layout delay 50 milliseconds, animation duration I'll choose something like 150. Under navigation I use the touchpad mode turntable orbit style, enable animation, 
under colors I personally prefer a bigger peak radius and I choose at least 10 pixels under the color gradient for setting this we need to apply our changes and the interface already looks different so we choose the first color peak screen color choose your interface color and leave the bottom uh, one as it is I like to change the color of the active container okay under draw styles the shadow settings uh, that I use are light color I like it to be a bit more yellowish I set the ground transparency to 1 I uncheck the ground sh shading and I choose smooth border we'll set it to 1 let's go ahead and apply our changes okay one thing that I forgot to change edit preferences is the size of the toolbar icons and I like uh, I like them to be 32 pixels apply okay we'll create a new file and the first thing that I do is to move the combo view on the right side of the screen cover your tree view go into view uncheck the status bar go into view panels tree view the first thing to do once the the interface is set up this way is to enable the overlay for the tree view and change for one time the workbench you will see that this will enable the selection view and property view this is a little bug that uh, that will be um, fixed uh, most likely in one of the future releases disable the overlay take your property view and drag it to the bottom of the screen and let's re-grab our tree view and put it in place enable the overlay for the bottom uh, side of, of the screen and choose to auto hide now enable the overlay for the tree view and lastly if you like it enable the overlay for the combo view the combo view has this really nice feature where we can uh, toggle the transparent mode or the auto hide to have a really nice free and big working canvas let's enable our shadow mode and by moving your mouse to the side of the screen you can uh, reveal or hide your various uh, docs So this is it for today, thank you for watching this uh, quick and dirty um, tutorial. In the next one I will show you how to configure the Pi menus for a really fast workflow. Uh, thank you for watching and please excuse my rusty English. See you next time.